All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, glory, and honor unto Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, and double honors unto the elders and apostles of GM's Great Millstone. And a sincere Shalom to you. I came bringing out this word in diligence and in truth. It's another lesson through the Spirit. And Lord willing, this uh, lesson will be entitled um, Utilize Time, you know, to receive the full benefits of it. And I mean that on uh, various levels, man. Because in this truth, you know, understanding, you know, this walk. Hey, as the scripture says this, this is uh, coming from the book of uh, Sirach, Ecclesiasticus 38. And sorry, 24. It reads, the wisdom of a learned man cometh by opportunity of leisure. And he that hath little business shall become wise. And now, you know, um, you know, we all work, you know, we all may have, um, duties you know outside of work whether brothers um have have children uh have wives um you know whatever whatever it is that that you know you do in your daily routine you know we all have you know duties that we have to keep and maintain and you know work on but the scripture tells us the wisdom of a learned man cometh by opportunity of leisure we understand opportunity is what you know time you know and it says leisure opportunity of leisure is basically your downtime man you know time where you could Hey, cause Jake uses their downtime to do what? To basically do, you know, go out and party, um, go out and, and drink. You know, Jake smoke. You know, they do whatever they do in the world. You know, for their their leisure time or cool down time. You know, and and very little of that is 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 actually profitable into their spirit, man. You know, it's mainly full of carnality. But the scripture is telling us that the wisdom of a learned man cometh by opportunity of leisure. You know, so in our time that we may have. Regardless if it's a, a short amount of time or, a, you know, a vast amount of time, man, you know, whatever time you have in which the Lord has is, is, is allotted for it to be open. A, 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 when using that time, the scripture tells us, and he that hath little business shall become wise. So using that opportunity of leisure to study, you know, to, to get into the Hebrew, you know, to get into the herbs, you know, to get together with a brother to do a lesson, you know, whatever the case may be in order for it to be beneficial into the spirit. Hey, that's when you start growing, man. You know, using that downtime as time to 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 tend to the spirit and tend to your spirit through the spirit and power of your house your male shot, man. You know, you got a little 30 minutes here hey, and the spirit hits you to do a lesson. Hey, guess what? Hey, the, the Lord is telling you to do that lesson because it's needed, man. You know, not only for, for the body, hey, but it may be a lesson that you need. Hey, whether it be listening to lessons, because hey, I know every brother may not have the the always have you know a great amount of time four or five hours to you know sit down and watch lessons hey some brothers may have to watch lessons while they're at work you know not to say that they're not watching lessons after work hey but if you have a, a headphone in you know while you're working or whatever the case may be hey that still helps man you know even though it's it's, it's not as much as you would want to get into the word at that moment <clears throat> you know listening and hey, still helping your spirit so i'm reading again it says the wisdom of a learned man cometh by opportunity of leisure and he that hath little business shall become wise, <clears throat> right? Now, when this lesson saying uh, utilize time to receive his full benefits of it, we understand Yahweh Shemuel Hashai uses times or time uh, in multiple ways throughout the scriptures, man. A understanding that patience and opportunity a, is, is, is part of the walk as well, man. Because <clears throat> in you not being hasty or not uh, react, uh, being reactive unto the, 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 the flesh, Hey, the scripture tells us this, you know, because time is important, man. Time is a tool, you know, and and in that tool, you know, it's one of the tools you can't get back. So if you mess up during time, guess what? You mess up, man. Ain't no rewinding it. You know, so hey, allowing or having the spirit be your your um your first instinct is crucial, man. I want to grab this precept. This is coming from the book of Luke 21. And it reads, this 19. It says, in your patience, possess your souls. And now that goes along with time as well. Because understanding patience or having patience is a time-based occurrence, man. Or is a time-based situation. You know, in you losing patience, you can lose everything. And how do we know that? A Jake in these times are going to lose patience. And aren't going to trust in Yahweh Bashim Shai and are going to receive with that MOTB. So they're going to lose their soul due to that time span, that time span man. The scriptures say, hey, um, and the devil shall cast some of you into, into uh, prison, 
and you should have tribulation 10 days. That doesn't necessarily mean 10 days, but a complete number of uh, uh, time or days in which, you know, uh, you may be in that, that concentration camp or whatever the case may be. But it says, be thou faithful unto death and thou shalt receive a crown of life. Meaning what? That's going to take a lot of patience, man. However that, however long that time, shorter long that time may be, it's up. Ultimately, it's written in heaven, you know, written in the, in the it was written before times or, or written before the world was created that if you're of the elect, you're going to pass that trial of time, man. But hey, you still are going to, we're, we're still going to have to physically endure that specific time period to be saved. You know, hey, the apostles always ask you, how was shy? Is this in the time in which you will restore the kingdom unto Israel? You know, so time is crucial within our walk, man. It's crucial. Hey, it says, stand ye upon your, uh, and watch, man. Watch, hey, also when you go into the precept and it tells us, it's like when you go into the scriptures and it tells us. <clears throat> it's like you. When you look into the word and it tells us, hey, basically, um, watch ye therefore. Matter of fact, I'm going to grab it. Grab it. Twenty-four. Um, matter of fact, I'll go here. This is um Matthew twenty-four and forty-two. It says, "Watch therefore, for ye know not what hour your Lord doth come, because the scriptures say Yahweh Shah is gonna come as a thief in the night, man. So this is all time. Now the scriptures also tell us, hey, we don't know the hour nor the day in which Yahweh Shah is gonna return. So that means patience is crucial, man. It's crucial in this walk. You're gonna need that patience." And pray for Yahweh Bashem Yahshua to give you more patience hey, hey, when you're going through adversity, man. To not make a hasty decision. To not move erratically. Because, hey, that can cost us, man. But I want to grab another precept. This is uh, Matthew 10. And 22. And he, um, 22, it says, And ye shall be hated of all men for my name's sake. Because understanding, hey, as the scripture says in the book of Ecclesiastes, matter of fact, I'll grab that as well. Uh, Ecclesiastes 3 at the top, to everything there is a season and a time to every purpose under the heaven. And it's a time to every purpose under the heaven. So going back to um, that in Matthew 10 and 22, it reads... And ye shall be hated of all men for my name's sake, but he that endureth unto the end, the same shall be saved. Right, the end is a time period, man. You know, the end is, is going to be an end day in which a Yahweh Shah breaks them clouds, comes back with the host of heaven, the angels, and he's going to he's gonna bring forth that, that, that chariot fire, man. Hey, along with the time of the nukes, you know? Hey, because what? When those nukes are, are shot off, Yahweh Shah is going to beam up who? He's going to beam up the elect, man. And that's going to be a when our salvation, a because another another key point of time, scriptures say our salvation is nigh. That's that's a time period, man. Everything, everything, the Lord, and we're not on our own time. To put that out there, you're not on your own time, man. The scripture tells us this. Matter of fact, coming from the book of Mark, I believe. I'll read this and I'll read another one. It's Mark 13 and 20. It says, except those days, except the Lord has shortened those days, no flesh should be saved. But for the elect's sake, whom he hath chosen, he hath shortened the days. So the days are, are shortened for the elect's sake, man. Right? So I'm going to grab another precept. It's coming from the book of uh, 2 Peter 3. In 8, it says, uh, but beloved. Be not ignorant of this one thing, that one day is with the Lord as a thousand years, and as a thousand years is one day, to show forth that we're not on our own schedule, man. This is the schedule of the Heavenly Father, you know, Yahweh. He sets up the time, man. The Father of time, man. That's Him. <clears throat> you know, we're, we're on His program. Prophecy runs as He drawn it out. Hey, so we have to continue to watch uh, these prophecies unfold because hey, we dictate the time by the prophecies. Right. But in utilizing this time to receive the full benefits of it a, is the saying in the world, uh, do the things you have to do so you can do what you want to do, so to speak. Right. Well, in this truth 
and we do the things that we're, we're told to do because that's expected of us. You know, it's expected of us to work. <clears throat> you know, this is our duty. The scriptures say, woe unto me if I preach not the gospel. So we utilize this time because the scripture also tells us in Isaiah 33 and 6, and wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy time and the strength of salvation. The fear of the Lord is his treasure. Matter of fact, I believe it may be a verse after that. <clears throat> strength. <clears throat> Isaiah 33 and 6. And wisdom and knowledge shall be, the, uh, shall be the stability of thy times and the strength of salvation. The fear of the Lord is his treasure. Oh, that was a point. Yep, that was a the point there. You know? But it's going to be the stability of thy times, man. Because we're coming into a Daniel 12 and 1. A the birth pains, as the scripture says. So we're going to need every ounce of, of understanding. We're going to need every ounce of patience. And we're going to have to utilize the tools Yahweh Shemuel Shai gave us through the spirit in order to endure these said days, man. And in you doing that, hey, because we give up all our lives. We give up our lives on this side, man. Hey, the apostles say we have given up all, you know. What shall you receive in, in return? Uh, paraphrasing, man. Hey, and Yahweh Shai told him, man, they're going to receive it with a hundredfold. A hundredfold. Hey, and Lord willing, we're on those in the lots of those men that will receive a hundredfold. It says, before you even ask, it shall be given you. Right? So in, in, in walking in this faith, everything is on the Lord's schedule. Everything. Every single thing, man. Hey, the man's goings are of the Lord. You know? The Lord, Yahweh Shemuel Shad, dictates every little, every, hey, from the wind, how it blows, to the, the, the snow that falls on the ground, to the, the herb bearing seed, to uh, us being born and, and coming to this world from the number of amount of years you've been in the truth for days, man. You know, because it's always a hey, uh, Yahweh Shemuel Shad is constantly waking up individuals as well, man. But I uh, want to close out on this. Because in you giving up your life or your time on this side, a hey, Yahweh Shemuel Shah is going to give us life, man. Right? This is coming from the book of um Sirach 18. And 10. And it reads, As a drop of water unto the sea, and a gravel stone in comparison of the sand, so are a thousand years to the day of eternity, to the days of eternity, man. And that's heavy because we understand uh, the world of Israel says what? Matter of fact, it says world without end, man. World without end. So when you sacrificing on this side and you get uh, the days of eternity, man, you get a, a full life. You get to see, you get, man. And when we go into the book of Revelation 21, it says no more tears, no more pain, no more sorrow. That's that's when we start to rule, man. That's the change of times. Things will things will be in righteousness from that point on for unto forever. Unto forever, man. You know, so I just want to bring this lesson into the body. Lord willing, it was edifying. I want to give all praises, glory, and honor unto Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Arakakwadash. A double honors unto the elders and apostles of GMS Great Millstone. And a sincere shalom to Yaki and bringing out this word in diligence and in truth. Shalom.